Well, folks, we've had some peaks of sunshine breaking out there today with the storm system that passed by yesterday moving off to the east. But those clouds, they're not letting up completely. We see that cloud cover off in the distance, but the brightness of that sunshine out there across Washington, D.C., just highlighting that dual nature of things out there today. Now, whether we see extra sunshine or continue with the cloud covers, temperatures have not been all that chilly just yet. We're seeing a delay with that cold air arriving still in the upper 50s west of I-81, some lower 60s mixing in out there to the east. That's about where our temperatures will top out at, but that's still pretty warm by early January standards by a good 10 to 15 degrees. Now there's that cloud cover I was talking about, especially as you get closer to the I-95 corridor and the Chesapeake Bay. And other than that, things have been relatively quiet, but now we have a couple of showers developing out there. This is the nature of things today with that storm system just off the east coast and another approaching from the west. We're going to have these sporadic showers here and there. And there you have it, a couple of light showers just to the west of Washington, D.C. and Fairfax County. Right there by the I-270-495 spur, we have a little bit of shower activity and into PG County. So all the way around the D.C. metro, we have some light rainfall that has developed out there, but don't expect that to last long now as we get into the afternoon. So we'll have that variable cloud cover going from overcast to a few peaks of sunshine here and there with warm temperatures the rest of today. Now, that disturbance over the Great Lakes, it will start to move in tonight, and that will bring another round of late rain showers to our eastern counties. Some snow showers will also then fall where it is colder across the mountains later on tonight. But all of this precip, precip should not be all that impactful. Tomorrow we bring back some chillier air as the wind does pick up. But what we should expect for January standards, mostly in the 40s. And then we're tracking another round of light precip to possibly arrive by Sunday night to wrap up this upcoming weekend. So check it out as we get through the rest of this afternoon. There is that sporadic shower activity we could start to see, especially up into parts of north central Maryland by the late afternoon, early evening time. These showers again, they're going to be short lived and they're going to move through at a pretty rapid rate. But that chance for precip continues to linger as we get into the first half of the overnight hours. And then there you have it. You see those rounds of snow showers back across the mountains as we head towards your Friday morning as well. So just spotty precipitation chances lingering about here and there into the day on Friday before we start to really see things clear out with the only exception being some cloud cover back across the mountains as we get into the day on Friday. So how about those temperatures again this afternoon? Don't expect them to budge much. They will stay in the upper 50s and low 60s. But as we get into the overnight hours tonight and that low pressure center from the Great Lakes finally starts to arrive, we will see those temperatures ticking back down again to the upper 30s and low 40s. And then tomorrow afternoon, they're not going to recover much. We pretty much stay in the 40s all the way through the day on Friday and all throughout the entire weekend coming up here. And there you have it Sunday into Monday. That's the next chance we'll have at seeing some light rain showers mixed in with a little bit of snow on Sunday night going into Monday morning. Thank you.